here we have our welcome screen let's call it our welcome screen um, dot that yeah. so we have welcome screen dot that um the doubt and um in the so we can start um so we stay trace so we say stay stress widget it's gonna be a state trace widget and we call the uh, uh, on screen and uh, the better type in this um let's remove this um code over here which was added by VS code remove that then we can so over here you can see an error over here on these red um highlights meaning that we are missing an import and we, we couldn't recognize this so to fix that issue so let's import library package flutter material so we import that and that's fixed and again we can see another error here the red um underline to fix that we just kind of like return something in our build method so let's kind of return an empty container for now empty container and um that makes our VS code happy. So we return that. So right now there's no way to see what we're doing here, but to be able to see that, let's go over to our main dot that um, file and we're gonna clean up some stuff. So basically we don't need this over here. So we can just remove that by deleting this whole code. Uh, we might kind of leave it, but I don't feel we need it. Just remove that. Uh, so we removed that, and then let's import our welcome screen over here. Let's copy, come over here, copy this. Um, go over, paste it in here, um, and then we can import this. Yeah, so we have that. And that's it so let's reload our screen and as you can see um that's showing up here but we can't see anything because we just kind of like showing an empty container at the moment um let's fix that up mm. so we can let's just start with the scaffold it says scaffold and um, scaffold will have a body let's say the body the center so we have a scaffold body so we give the body a center so the center widget and um, so we can do this a constant for this also so give our center a shot and this will be a test until right now we can just let's say welcome to footer at the moment uh, that we can have that for now and then to fix the issue I don't know where let's help this fix it so we have constant scaffold um save that and you can see we are having our stuff showing over here so you can have we have the center widget centering the child which is a test widget over here and um its position is centered it um, in the center of the screen and that's what we need um so you can see our setup is working and um yeah so right now first of for let's kind of like add a, a launch screen because the reason why we are, what we are doing over here is the, this one is we are trying to add a welcome screen which is currently working right now um actually we haven't done much of it but let's add a work a launch screen whereby when the when we first um starts our app you can pop on let me see if i show you what's going on what we want to do so over here so this is our meant to head up so when you launch the app you see we have this white background over there. Oh, 
let's remove this kind of like disconnected uh, oh, so let's run on our app again um, so basically when you launch the app which is this which is this over here you can see this white um, launch screen so we want to remove that and replace that with our main app launch screen which is what we are trying to do um, and to achieve that we can head over so basically this is what we are trying to achieve over here we are also trying to have this we are trying to have this launch screen this um, as our launch screen so to achieve that we can um, since the designer is not with us we can actually we can actually ask her for this stuff here but she is not around so we can just kind of try to create this on our own and export it as an image which is um this stuff over here to do that um have my figma up over here and have that open and um let's see uh, so we have our figma app open so the let's give it some time to open up fully and um let's see what else we have to do here Okay, so we have our Figma app open, and um, so let's see if we can create the text we have over there. So let's add a, okay, so we can add a test using this. Let's type something and uh, uh, this. So I'm going to help. Um, let's change this the test score. Um, over here you can see because it's black, dark. So let's change this to white. Yeah, so we have that working. Okay. So we have our test, which is white. Let's increase the font size. Um, so this. Um, let's see about text two. It's a closer to what we have here. So yeah, actually, you can keep this side by side. Um, we have this same mental health. So we have mental health. Okay, that's the of Then we can have another one by side over here. That says health. And then we have that. So we change the color to white, and that's it. And um, so let's position this. Do we connect? Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah. So give it in the same position with the mental health. Uh, so let's bring it a bit closer. So we have this. And uh, see it's over here. Um let's see what we have. So we have this score over here. So let's 
the color from our design over here and um okay guys can i give you some time let's see scroll down um um where is the color um okay yeah thanks we can find the color over here there is a figma uh, we can have the color add the colors of figma up um to replace the color of this text um so we can go over here and change this hex code this color hex code over here to the color we just so over here so that should be eight seven seven one b six eight seven seven one b six that's it okay yeah nice one so we have that change and we can have a mental health and then we can have the white color so this is the white color she was using the bright color she was using and let's add that too and um let's raise my figma up so we can set the second test over there and um, when we get to the call we can just do this and then replace that with the Color hex we found over here. Okay. So that should be F six F four F B. Okay, can figure out how I got that. Yeah. That's it. And let's hit enter. I'll have the color change over there. So I think we are done over here. Let's scroll up. Let's see. That's what we have in mind. I was looking for the design. Okay, yeah. So we have mental health and um, how is it? So now this are good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Yes, I'm I'm not that good with Figma. Not a design prodigy, but I can do my best. <laughs> so we have trying to see if we have everything in order. So we have mental health. Um that's pretty much matching what we need here. And um I think there's a way we can actually combine all this into one this and this together let's see I'm gonna group it I think there's a way to do that yeah so group selection yeah so we have this as a one group which is what we need um it's working for them so we have that group selected can just um so let's export this so we are done with creating that over here so let's export that design um the text design we did over there so we scroll down i think my favorite part of favorite parts of exporting stuff should go to the inspect is it is that uh, Marshall. okay export so we'll go over here and let's export this as 2x that should be good let's, just, let's try 3x and then we spot it as png we spot group one so we can see the preview over here so yeah it's looking good so let's export this export group mm, and we can save that in our desktop so download downloads folder go to downloads folder or we can call this um brand name say brand brand also brand name the last stream since i found out that every two kind of like stopped 
at a point. Um, you kind of like stopped at um, creating a a launch screen on Figma, and I kind of was illustrating how to do that on Figma. So I think that's where we stopped that. And um, so let's start from that side. Let me see. Um, so the last stream we own, we actually finished up um, creating the Figma um, um, for the splash screen we want to achieve, which is basically something like this. Um, so we are trying to get something like this. So when the user like app phone on the mobile phone, so it has this pop up like with this launch screen when the app is kind of trying to start on the phone. And um, so on our Figma, click on this, click on um, group one for our previous um, um, stream. So when you um, click on this, head over to this place then click on export group one when you click on that so it will actually show up this um pop-up to kind of like save the um, image on your desktop on your desktop um download folders um if that is not where it's trying to save it you can actually save it at any location but i prefer saving it at downloads folder and you can change the name to whatever you want it to be called and then hit on save button and actually i will not do this right now because i already have um this saved on my on my download folder already so i will not go ahead and save it so i just cancel this um, once you have that done um the next thing is just to close this off head over to head over to your vs code which is this and uh, we are going to um, import that image we just saved right now to our VS Code. And to do that, we just um, click over here. Yeah. Um, no. So we just click on our roots directory of our project folder. Click another folder called Assets. I'm just creating a folder called Assets. So that's the folder we'll be using. We'll be uh, images, yeah, in this folder. Create another folder called images. Um, and that's it. And um, you can go also go ahead and create another for, for translations. Well, we will not be using right now, maybe, maybe later in the future, we will, we will make use of that, but we can create the folder for now. So we create that and leave it like this. And um, so the next step will be to look for where we save the folder, which I said should be in the downloads and location. So for me, I saved um, the image as this is it. I can just click on that, minimize this, drag, drag, there's no dragging. So basically drag this and drop it um, over here. Once you get that done, and um, um, looks like the stream is having some issues. Um, let me just fix this up, guys. Um, so We added the image to our asset for which is um, this, cancel that. Um, we want to use image in our launch screen. Um, how to do that will be so we are trying to get something like this when the app is popping. Down. So just minimize this, and then um, we need to. Um, a, um, a footer package called um, footer native. I'll just show you guys the part in our footer pub website. So 
can just open up the browser over here type okay so yeah so this is basically what we're trying to add to our app let's search for it so when you head over to your pub.dev click on it I have this showing up here. So this is everything concerning the package we're going to use. So basically this package is going to help us to install um, native launch screen, um, change our native, refute our native launch screen to what like, kind of like something like this over here, they're using footer image for their launch screen. We want to kind of like use our own brand image or brand logo or something like that for our launch screen, which, which is what we are heading over to. So how to do that so first of all we add this package over here click on this this we copy the <coughs> we copy the command to add the package head over to vs code this up over here and paste the command here So we have the package is now installed in our VS Code in our footer project. So to see that, we can go over to our prospect.yaml file, click on that, minimize this, then let's reduce this. And uh, so yeah, you can find the package installed over here, footer native splash. And let's um, configure the package to use it for what we want to configure the package. Um, so Head over below your dev dependencies. So, right here we have Qualifier Native Splash. I just copy the same name over here since that's what we want to type in. Copy that. Yeah, paste that here. Like this. And now we want to configure how uh, we want our Splash, um, our launch Splash screen to look like. So, no, that's not it. So let's enter one, two, yeah, that's it. So first of all, we give it a color. Um, want to give it the exact color of our, of our design. And um, to get this color of our design, we can head over to, um, so this is the app we are trying to build. So this is where I got the design from. So I explained everything about this in our previous. Um, it's not mine. And um, so to get a color we want to use. So here we can find the details about the color. And um, so this is the color we want to use. Um, okay, the color is not specified here or it's actually dark black so we can just use black color for that and then we can just close this off and um uh, what else we have to close off so um, let's go over to our view vs code color code for black should be stop multiple zeros should be five right one two three four five six yeah so these are black color we got that. And next one will be we have to add an image. And now we have to get our image location, which is access slash images. Um, but before we can actually do this, let's um, tell Futa where to get all our images, where we are keeping all our images or all our assets for this app. To do that, so let Fruita know about all our assets or all our everything we are going to use, both the images, font, and all that stuff. We have to kind of like register everything here. So to register the whole stuff, come down here under this asset. We remove we the second line, remove that. So under this one, we're going to have specify the directory, which is assets. Say Sets, yeah, search images, then we don't need the other ones. Put that off. 
So we already have access search. Does it so over here? We do the same for here. We just copy this head over here. Paste that in and slash the name of the image you want to use here, which is we go over in here. You can see it's called brand name. I have brand name dot png is already suggested it for us so that should be dot png um access slash images slash brand name dot png which is our image close this off and then um, so what else should we do so we just save this save our um this file or the changes we made here we save the changes by hitting our command and s key on our keyboard and that will change everything and then footer we just run through everything here to see if there's changes and something to download and we to do that for us once that is done let's now use this um this package here to generate a launch screen for us and how to do that so there's a command we can use and it's being specified over here so we have to run this command here copy that we go over to our uh project paste it here and make sure you are in your root directory your app root directory which is this and in your terminal paste that here and then um, so now we hit enter and let's wait for everything to generate so it will actually generate everything that we need and there's it we are good to go so over here you can see native splash complete now go finish video something awesome you rock thanks for that and um yeah so we got everything installed right now but let's test it out and see if this is actually working and um to test that out we just need to stop our app for running right now close this stopping the app for running running so we can just minimize this how's it working Push. come on so we just remove this remove this and um so we can just run it again so that should be let's run that oh Okay, we go back to our main data and we can run that again. And let's just wait for our footer um, command to view that app for us. And we can see what's going on here. If we go over to debug console, I can see what it's doing. Let's just give it some time to build. And uh, while that is happening, we can just go over here and see what else we could actually use for this package so you can actually add background image and all that stuff which is what we did oh no we didn't add background image we added an image where you can actually add a using that command um, um then you can add color dark color since when the app is in a dark mode you can use the dark color and other stuff you can do with that so there's a whole lot you can do um I would advise you guys to kind of really read more about this. Uh, once more there, so yeah, so this is it. So we got that working. If you look, you can see let's delete this again and restart the app. So we got the native splash screen working. Let's try that again. It's been working, which is what we needed, and that's working as expected. Kind of like when the app is for dead, when the screen is done, they kind of like advise to run this command, um, this code right here. So I can just, whenever your initialization is completed, remove this splash screen. So basically this, and I think we can add that somewhere over here in our main. Um, main dot dot. And, um, that should be here if I'm correct. And um, 
So okay. save and um, let's do that up again. Kind of like stopped, um, disconnected. I mean to say. So let's rebuild the app again. And, um, Okay, it's taking some time. Um, let's give it some time to build up. And um, yeah, so bravo. So that's the launch screen working, and um, we are done with the launch screen part of this app. Let's close this off. We don't 